Janice Huff sashayed into the NBC New York studios in 1995 from KRON in San Francisco, looking for a new career challenge. And let's face it, weather forecasting in San Francisco isn't all that complicated. All of this fog. Very cloudy and foggy. Some fog. So much fog. But New York, that's weather. Hurricanes, floods, heat waves, blizzards. Certainly something a meteorologist on track to attain the highest ranks of her profession could sink her teeth into. The two will merge and then head toward our area. The following January, with Janice handling our weekend coverage, the blizzard of 1996 buried the city under more than 20 inches of snow. It's still coming down hard out there. Lots of wind. We've set record snowfall here right. in the city already. It wasn't long before she moved to weekdays, then added a six day to her schedule, doing national forecasts on Saturdays on Weekend Today for 16 years. We may get a little bit of sunshine, but... Through the years, we knew that whatever weather was coming our way, Janice was on top of it on top of the science and the math and the logic necessary to calculate the most precise forecast possible, delivered with passion and consummate skill. It'll feel more like it's 105. Bombogenesis is what's happening now. And here's the five-day forecast for you. But it wasn't all work and no play for Janice. She caught the eye of Bravo's Andy Cohen, who decided his show needed a little Janice Huff magic. Do you have a forecast for us? I actually do have a forecast for okay, Potomac. Good. And you know, there's some major drama going on down oh there with purses okay. flying all over the place and LaDame perfume showers and excessive drama. <laughs> oh, yes! What always came through, besides the fact that she is probably one of the best meteorologists you could ever meet, the, the, her heart, her kindness, her sense of humor. Ah, yes, her heart. Janice certainly didn't leave it in San Francisco. That big heart reached out to New York's children in foster care with her weekly segment called Wednesday's Child. You're gonna pick out something that you wanna paint. What do you see? I saw the Statue of Liberty. Her goal was to get them adopted by loving families. Okay, these are approved. Janice has helped 262 children find loving permanent homes. Is that you, Barking Porter? Speaking of permanent homes, this little guy has one, thanks to Janice. She also has a soft spot for animals, and this puppy caught her eye during a pet adoption segment on LXTV. If Porter could talk, he'd probably say something like this. Thank you for always being such a wonderfully kind person and for always giving us all a boost. She works tirelessly, and she is just one of the best people you could possibly call colleague, but more importantly, call friend. By my calculations, you've produced over 20,000 forecasts, and in my eyes, none of them have been wrong. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. I love you. <laughs>